Does the order of integration really matter? Yes, it does really matter sometimes, not only for convenience or simplicity, but sometimes for feasibility in computing antiderivatives. Here's the, the standard, the canonical example that everybody does. Consider the double integral of y times e to the x cubed over the region in the plane given by a triangle with vertices at 0, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 2. Let's set this up. Let's pick an order of integration. Let's say we integrate with respect to x first and then y so that we have the double integral of y e to the x cubed dx dy. Now, what do we do in this case? This means that we fix a value of y and then sweep x from left to right. I'm going to have to figure out the left-hand limit of integration by looking at the equation for that straight line, y equals 2x. Solving for x, that gives me x equals y over 2 for the lower limit on x, and obviously x equals 1 for the upper limit. Then once we've done that, we sweep in the y direction from y equals 0 to y equals 2, going from lower to higher. Now, oh, wait a minute. How do I integrate e to the x cubed? I don't know how to anti-differentiate that. That seems impossible to get that in closed form expression. So, so what do we do? Do we give up? No. Don't give up. Reverse the order of integration and keep your fingers crossed. See what happens. Let's set this up as a double integral of y times e to the x cubed dy dx. Now, if I fix x and solve for y, that lower limit is clearly 0. The upper limit, we've already solved for that equation, it's 2x. And now, after integrating vertically, we sweep horizontally from x equals 0 to x equals 1. Now, I can integrate y dy. That's simply y squared over 2. And when I evaluate y squared over 2 from 0 to 2x, notice that I get 2x squared. That times e to the x cubed dx is my new integral. As x goes from 0 to 1, and aha, I see what has happened. I can do a simple u substitution, letting u be equal to x cubed, then du is 3x squared dx, and ah, voila, I have the integral as u goes from 0 to 1 of 2 thirds e to the u du. That integrates to 2 thirds e to the u. As u goes from 0 to 1, that gives us our final answer of 2 thirds times quantity e minus 1. That was simple, and that is why order matters when you're doing multiple integrals.